The Girl on the Train is directed by Tay Taylor and stars Emily Blunt, Haley Bennett, Rebecca Ferguson, Justin Thoreau, Luke Evans, Edgar Ramirez, and Allison Janney. This is based on the very popular book written by Paula Hawkins. In this film, Emily Blunt plays a woman named Rachel. She rides the train every day back and forth to New York City. She passes this particular town. She creates these stories about the people living in this neighborhood and stuff, and even creates names for them. Unfortunately, one day, one of the people in that neighborhood, Megan, played by Haley Bennett, goes missing, and we don't know who killed her. We think we do, but we just don't have an idea. We have our movie. Now, I was pumped out of my mind for this movie. I thought the marketing was great. I love the actors in it. I started reading the book, but I stopped about a quarter way into it because I didn't want to really know much. And I started hearing mixed things about it. It looked like Gone Girl, but in a good way. It looked like another version of Gone Girl, and I was really pumped. Unfortunately, this movie wasn't very good at all because it felt so lifetime-like. It was so melodramatic, so cliched, so predictable. I didn't enjoy it, and I wanted to so bad. Now, look, that's not saying that this movie's entirely bad because it isn't like one of the worst things I've seen this year. It just wasn't that good of a film, in my opinion. And, but I'll start with the positives. I thought Emily Blunt did a great job in this movie. I thought most of the actors did a really good job, but Emily Blunt carried the whole movie on her own. If she wasn't in it, then the movie would have gone downhill more than it did. I love Rebecca Ferguson. I just thought she was okay here. Haley Bennett, a.k.a. Jennifer Lawrence Doppelganger, not that strong in this movie. I thought Lou Gevin did good. Allison Janney, I thought, was fantastic. Justin Furrow, over the top, lifetime like, definitely the most lifetime like performance out of all the performances in this film. And who's the other guy? Edgar Ramirez. He was okay. This isn't a badly directed film. Actually, it kind of is really badly directed. I like the way the film looks, I do like the score of it. And it wasn't boring, it just felt choppy. But the biggest issue with this movie, like I said, is that it feels so Lifetime-like. It's like Tay Taylor tried to make a Lifetime version of Gone Girl, and I didn't like that aspect at all. Gone Girl was such an engaging film. It was so thrilling. But this movie was just so, eh. It didn't really have any emotion to it, and I didn't like that aspect. I wanted to like this movie. Hell, I wanted to love it. But it was just one of the biggest disappointments of the whole year. I think if you go into this movie expecting like a guilty pleasure type of movie, you might get that. And some people I know have gotten that. Me, I didn't. I just thought this movie was all over the place. It was really choppy and I just wanted to cry. And it was like, oh, this, this, this. this movie just felt so by the numbers. And I knew right away who was the one behind Megan's murder. And I'm just like, the movie couldn't even do a good job at hiding it. But it was so obvious. Like, you could point all the facts. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's like you could point all the facts and you're like, ooh, that's that's insane. But that doesn't mean that this movie's like the worst thing ever. I do think that if you're going to this movie wanting just a cheesy little gimmicky thriller, you might enjoy some of it. I just didn't, and I'm going to give Girl on the Train a C-. This is going to be a short review. I've been trying to be quick with these reviews because I'm so far behind on making them because of college. I'm home for the weekend, so that's why I'm going to try my best to let these reviews out quickly. So yeah, Girl on the Train, didn't really care for it. Big disappointment. Tell me what you guys thought of the movie down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.